last time we saw you in the flesh was obviously at the O2. Do you reflect on that much about just how much of a historic occasion it was before even looking at the fight? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I got given a promo video on it. When I watch it, I just think, wow. It's breathtaking. And even like just being part of it, but I think, God, just being there watching it and the amount of support from the North East, Hartlepool. It was just amazing when my friends went and uh, I was like, oh, what was the night like? And she was like, she was like, um, oh, it was just like a massive night out for the whole of Hartlepool. The, the, the press corps, it was one row of just full North East media. You had Stewie Hall down there commentating for Radio Tees. There was us. You, you took half Hartlepool down, didn't you? No, no. It's unbelievable. Can I ask, have you watched it back? Have you reflected on it? Have you looked at where things went right, where things could have been better? I've seen little clips. I haven't watched it back. I was just saying there, just joking on it. The best seat in the house. I was in there. So I need to watch it back for. No, I've seen little clips. and um, Even from the fight, uh, there's things I would change and things I would improve on. And but look, the, the best woman won on the night, so I can't sit here and... Call her this and call her that. How have you been personally since then, Savannah? I've been all right. You know, I've been. It's a bit surreal because although I got beat, it's like the the opportunities and and, and things that have come my way from that event. It's it's a bit it's a bit weird. But it's only one one. <laughs> I know it is. It's only one one. So there was talk of a rematch at the time. Is there anything you can tell us? Uh, yeah, so look, the, re the rematch um, is seeming more and more likely, um, only because obviously the, the, the scorecards didn't reflect what the fight. I personally think she won. I can't, I can't whinge about that. But for me, I, I think I do think it was close. I think maybe if I would have got the rub of the green, maybe I could have swept a draw. But look, I can't sit even to should have, would have, could have. Um, but I, I do still believe it is the biggest fight out there in female boxing still. Because you know, over two million views. Like it, it, I think it was the second biggest viewing figures of British boxing of all time on Sky. It was unbelievable. But one thing that I was going to ask you before the fight, it, it was about the respect. Has there been more respect since the fight? Any bridges been built between you, or is it st still the same between you? Because that was just as entertaining. Um, nah. I said we were, um, got asked if we were going for a coffee. I was like, ah, we'll see after the rematch. She can buy. As you know, we're, we're close. With, we're close with Peter. Um, How, how's Peter afterwards? Uh, well, have you had a chance to speak? It was, um, it was just a sad. It was just a sad one because you're all there together, you're Huey. You're all you're all these the years of pushing and, 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 and striving towards greatness, and it's just sad. It is really sad, but look, we're a team and we go through these things together. But Savannah Marshall's definitely fighting on. Yeah, she is. Because we interviewed. I don't <laughs> she know if you saw. Taste, yeah, she's had a taste of it. And, yeah. That's great news. We interviewed Adam Smith straight after the fight, and he was a little bit wondering whether you would fight on or whether you would call it a day and so you're definitely going on because that's great news if you are oh yeah definitely i think look i was gonna i mean two years ago before i even covered it i was thinking oh, i want to retire by the time 30 you know i'm 31 i'm coming up 32 and it's just a vicious cycle <laughs> thinking that it's like i'm on the waltzes and i'm like trying to jump off but it's just getting better and better can i see a couple of wider questions you've long banned the drum about lewis ritson being the leading light in the northeast and putting it back on the map it's been confirmed he's fighting O'Hara Davis in the final eliminator just quick thoughts long time coming long long time coming I, to be honest I would have liked to have seen that fight six months ago um, and I think for me even even O'Hara like I think he's been that long out of the ring it's it's kind of I, I think they'll put on a great show both of them will the, just, just the way they're fighting everything but um I'm looking forward to it and I'm glad it's happening for Lewis. I mean, I, like I said, for me, he, he, he set North East Boxing alight again and we've all got him to thank. We really have, so I, I hope he comes out victorious.